Now, the European Commission is giving up on its campaign to get Britain to drop pints, pounds and miles. It's announced plans to allow the right to use imperial weights and measures to be written into EU law. So how would metric conversions have affected the British way of life if they had become law by 2009? Well, you go to the pub, not for a pint, but for 0.57 litres of beer. Yeah, mine's 0.235, yeah. <laughs> a pound of potatoes would work out at 0.45 kilogram of spuds. And you could still run a mile, but you'd call it <laughs> 1.609 kilometres instead. Yes, so the four minute 1.609 kilometres. <laughs> silly, isn't it? So is this a victory for Imperial Measures campaigners? Well, let's talk to the Chairman of the Trading Standards Institute, Brian Lewin, who's in our central London studio. Brian, morning to you. Good morning. I think uh, times of day are still uh, in Imperial units, aren't they? So I can still call you morning, uh, morning. or anything else. Um, yes. This is common sense, isn't it? Let's just clarify what's actually happened. In 2000, we went over to actually selling in metric quantities on loose goods. So if you went to uh, a, a butcher's, a fishmonger, a fruit and vegetable seller, you bought in terms of kilograms. We had 10 years of also including a concession to also include supplementary uh, indications in terms of pounds and ounces on our scales and on our price tickets. Uh, a consultation uh, earlier this year by the EU came out uh, in favour of in extending that concession indefinitely. So instead of stopping the supplementary indications in three years' time, we will continue to actually indicate pounds and ounces alongside the metric indications. We're not going back to selling by pounds and ounces. We continue to sell by metric. No. But, Brian, it does, it does bring to mind, doesn't it, um, some of the celebrated prosecutions there have been of people who broke the law as it would interpret back then. Does this new ruling or relaxation apply retrospectively? Not at all. It doesn't alter that law at all. And the people who were prosecuted were rightly prosecuted. They challenged the law under which they were prosecuted and they failed. The laws were valid. They were not uh, avoidable. Uh, those people, if they continue to do uh, what they were doing then, would still be guilty of the same offences. Really? So if I set up a stall and sold, um, I don't know, potatoes or bananas by imperial measures only, I would still be breaking the law, would I, and be subject to viable libel to be prosecuted? You would, but uh, the vast majority of traders in this country do not find any problem at all in, in complying with this uh, law, and nor does it stop members of the public going up to a, a, a greengrocer and saying, I want a, a, a five pounds of, of potatoes. It's up to the uh, retailer to uh, sell in terms of metric quantities, but he can also indicate the price in terms of imperial. I think it was the pint that was going to break this. It was never going to happen, was it, that we'd stop talking about pints? No, and I, I think you're right. I think the, the British pint in terms of not just beer but in, in milk is, is an emotive subject and that's, uh, uh, it's, it, that's also uh, been saved in inverted commas and I think we'll be using those indefinitely as well. Will it happen by a sort of creeping set of changes then, that perhaps the font by which the manufacturer marks the carton will put you know the kilograms or the liters in the big bold type and the imperial will get smaller and smaller over time I think that's a, a, a valid point because we soon uh, overcame the difficulty of uh, thinking in terms of pound shillings and pence in in terms of quantity people don't regard uh, don't uh, refer to stones and hundredweights anymore and, and we're not going to stop referring to pounds and ounces altogether. When children are born, I suspect that most people are going to refer to the weight of their child in terms of pounds and ounces. Yeah. I think people still measure their big gardens by acres, don't they? Yes, and I think uh, jewellers still use something called the troy ounce. So some uh, very old weights and measures are still going to continue. Brian, we're going to have to leave it there, not least because I think there's a mobile phone making a terrible noise in the studio, which means we can't hear you anymore, but never mind. Thank you very much. I wish I could measure my garden in acres, by the way. <laughs> Sadly, it's not big enough. I now don't then. understand anything imperial. You don't understand you anything imperial? Oh, you're just pretending meters. you're very young. Well, it's kind of... It, isn't anyone under the age of 40? We're, we're, wasn't, isn't that when the curriculum changed? It'd be interesting to get a, a teacher on to explain that. Well, if you were paying attention in school, you'd have learnt both, Alec.